Hi everyone! In this video, I'll be introducing to you this tool called PDF Element. And I just recently discovered this and if you guys don't know, I just started my second term in college and this has been really really helpful for me since we have a lot of readings in my Filipino class and we also read case studies for my chemistry for engineering class. And we all know that most of the readings and forms are in PDF format, so this tool really makes everything easier as it allows you to scan, read, edit, annotate, and fill up forms the easiest way. Also, you can download or use PDF element in your computer, iPad, or even in your iPhone. So before I start to share with you how it works, here's how you can download it for free on the App Store. Just search PDF Element Pro there and here's what it looks like and again, you can download it definitely for free. So now, allow me to share with you how it works. But first, let's look at these features that you can see as you open it. So first, we have here connections. Here is where you can sync or upload your files from. We also have the recents and you can also assign your favorites. And if you accidentally deleted your files, you can recover it from your trash. And by the way guys, this app support the Apple Pencil, but it works best with or without it. So here are the things you can change or enable on your settings. And on the comments part, you can display author and date, and you can change your name as the author as well. So at the top right corner, you can select so you can delete or save at the same time and you can also arrange them alphabetically and you can also do it in this format. At the lower right corner, you can click this add button so you can import from your files, your photos, and your computer. You can also create new folder and create new PDF. And one thing I like about this is you can scan using your camera. I really think this one's really useful for me because almost all of my subjects require submissions in PDF format and almost all of my math classes like my differential calculus this term, we are required to submit our solutions in PDF format. You can also rotate the picture you took earlier and you can also add filter and here are a couple of filters you can choose from and I personally prefer this one. So the next thing I'll do is to just crop it based from my preference. Okay, so now that I am done, I can just click this top right button right here and I can just choose share so I can save it to my files. So there, I'm just gonna change the name into solutions. So now I'm going to show you how you can edit and annotate files that is in PDF format. So here I'm just going to upload one of my readings in my Filipino class. By the way guys, it is best to use your two fingers when zooming in and out and scrolling through your files. There are a lot of options on how you can read through your files like this one. You can read it horizontally and you can also adjust the brightness. You can also enable scrolling and you can also have two pages at the same time, like this one. So let's now move on to the main features you can do with this app. So 
so let's start with the highlight so there you can just slide through the part you can highlight by the way it also works the same if you are not using an apple pencil and you can also change the color of your highlight or your highlighter and set up your color palette and also you can add notes to that highlight In addition to that, you can also clear, copy, share, or dictate the highlighted part. So now, what I'm gonna do next is to highlight other important parts of this piece. So there, I'm just gonna slide through the important part that I want to highlight. Next is the strike through. Personally, I don't always use this one, but I really want to show you how it works. So it works the same with the highlighter. You can choose all the colors of your preference and you can also add notes. You can also underline and here I am annotating Philippine Basketball Association. And again, you can also change the color and you can also add notes. And one thing I like about this one is you can press pick and there. Philippine Basketball Association. Next is you can draw anything you want in the file. And here I am just putting a bracket and you can also change its properties. You can change its opacity, its thickness there and also its color. Now let's try to erase it using the tool and then replace it with the text. Text box and text call out works almost the same and this ones I really don't use it much but you can put your notes here as well. Next is the sticky notes which I really really loved when I discovered it. Here I usually write a little summary of what I learned or what I read about one page. And yes, you can also change the color of this one. You can also add shapes like circles and rectangles and also arrows. And you can also change its property like its opacity, thickness, and color. There are also pre-made stamps here and you can also write or put your signature. By the way guys, you can also import files from the internet as long as they are in PDF format. So here I just have to click this button right here and I just need to select the PDF Element Pro so I can open it there. And yes, I use here our medical exam form. And definitely yes guys, this app allows you to easily fill and sign forms. As you can see, it automatically detects spaces where you can fill information. It also detects and creates radio boxes like this one for the gender. You can only choose one if you're a female or a male. Lastly, I don't know if you noticed it, but my name automatically reflected in this part because it already knew it as the same information. And the only 
thing that I just need to do with this form is to sign it. And by the way, your signatures can also be changed color. But of course, I'll be using black for formality. And I think that's it for this one. Just as easy as that, you can sign and fill up forms. And I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys can get to experience this powerful tool as well. So make sure to check the description box for the links to know more and download PDF Element Pro for free on iOS. And you can also get 50% off on PDF Element Desktop. Bye guys!